Hello guys, Flying Twitchy here, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, and this time we are in Patch Collie version 110.2. I think it came out last week, and we are going to do something different this time. Uh, normally I always do a normal game, but um, this time we are going to do a Germany run. But we will try to beat the United Kingdom fleet. I have no idea if this is going to work, but it is a challenge and I'm going to take it. So uh, we will play as Germany, we will just try to conquer as much things as possible. But uh, we will focus on our fleet. And hopefully we can get enough modifiers and stuff to beat uh, the fleets of the other nations so that we can rule the seas. So it's going to be a uh, different run than normal. Um, I don't know if I should go Iron Man mode actually for this one because we don't need achievements. So I think we're going to keep this out. And I will turn off historical AI out as well. So we will see what happens in the game. Uh, normally this is actually bad for Germany, because if you go with historical AI you can get Czechoslovakia for free and Austria and Yugoslavia as well. Because you can uh, do, do some of your focuses, but if you don't tick this on, uh, these people can refuse. So we will see how that goes. And on the other hand, Poland can form its own faction and then it is a free free food for Germany. Because, because when they form their own faction, you... Uh, you can just take them without any inter interference of other countries, so we will see. Let's jump into the game. Now, <clears throat> I already told in uh, in, in other uh, let Let's Plays in Hearts of Iron 4, I'm not an expert in this game. Uh, I only play this when there is a new expansion coming out, and then I play a bit, and then uh, leave it alone for months. So that is why I sometimes lose my uh, knowledge about the game. So if you have any tips, uh, put them in the comment section. I would really like some tips. Uh, the problem is that I will be recording multiple videos ahead. So when you have tips right now, I will only see them in episode 6 or something. That's the whole problem. Um, in my Discord there are also people that don't know this game. So I will actually play a bit slower and explain a bit more than I do normally. So that can also be an, a limitation if you want to watch this series. But uh, otherwise I hope you will stick with me. And uh, enjoy this uh, this challenge. Hopefully we can beat the uh, the British Navy. Now, we have 30 divisions as, at the start of Germany. Uh, we have three tank divisions over here. Uh, these divisions will be used in a civil war in Spain. And that way we can get our army experience a little bit. Uh, so I will put them in a different army. Uh, actually, let's put this motorized here in as well. And... Now we do have a cavalry brigade. I don't want cavalry in my uh, field over here. We will use this for the resistance. So we are going to just make them into an infantry. And we have one mountaineer. And mountaineer. Let's go to the border with Switzerland so we know where they are. And these guys. For now let's make two armies. And put them at the border with Poland. Because we all know what happened in the, in the real world war. Poland got destroyed. Now we have four research slots. Uh, we will just do the normal uh, three things over here. Production and the construction boost. So we can build stuff quicker. We uh, get more production efficiency cap and we will have more research. But since we are focusing on Navy. Um, the only ships that we don't have right now. In 1936 are the carriers. So I will... Uh, Research the level 2 carriers. And I will start building some carriers. I think it's still helpful. So uh, let's start this one. Carriers of course can have planes on them. And uh, you should have a maximum of 4 carriers in your navy. Before you get any penalties. So we will try to get 4 carriers in our strike fleet. And now the question is. What are we going to do first? I'm not going to oppose Hitler. Uh, we will just go uh, with Hitler. And try to conquer the world. We're not going to revive the Kaiser Reich or something. Uh, we could start immediately with the naval rearmament. To get more naval dockyards so we can make more ships at the same time. But I still think it's uh, more important that we start our industry up. So I think I will go with the four year plan. Well actually I will do the Rhineland first because it gives a bit of world tension. And if nothing happens that world tension will go away over time. And we get political power. Yeah we will do Rhineland here. And after we did Rhineland, we are going to go four-year plan into autarky for more um, 
bonuses again. We will get six civilian uh, factories. We will get another six civilian factories. We get a research slot. And then I think I'm going to focus more on uh, dockyards. This is just too good to not take as Germany this route. We get 12 civilian factories, research slot. It's, it's so good. Now we have three civilian factories. Um, we could start building civilian factories. Could also start building naval dockyards. Now I still think we need to start with civilian factories so we can kickstart our economy. So let's just uh, queue a couple in here. <coughs> we built them on uh, <coughs> on the highest um, industry level. So 80% is the highest. So we have a bit of a uh, production boost. It goes a bit quicker. Can you see it over here how quickly it goes? Not really, right? Yeah, state infrastructure times 1.7. So there you go. But if you have 100, it goes twice as fast. It's actually pretty significant. Uh, we are gonna <clears throat> build as many... Well, not the Kebergs Brigades. We are gonna build naval in invasion units. So I don't think I'm gonna build uh, a lot of these. Uh, at the moment, we have a standard infantry division here. And I think we can just queue a couple in here. Also, our Panzer Division is not bad at all, actually. It's really good. Uh, four light tanks and two motorized. Uh, we will train two of these as well. And I think that's going to be it for now. And this is going to be our military police. And we give them the military police the M symbol. I think that's the best thing to take. And we need to remove these two supports and add military police support equipment to this template. But hopefully we won't forget that in the future. Now we have some military uh, factories ready. Um, I still think I am going to focus heavily on artillery, but also on light tanks. And yeah, we already have 10 factories on the infantry equipment. I think we need at least seven on the artillery. Maybe five here. Yeah, and then we are going to work on light tanks. But that's going to take a long time, light tanks. Uh, let's put one out of the motorized. I think we don't need that many at the start. So maybe we'll try to get fighter once. We can get air superiority. Now, we are also building ships, of course. Now, these ships we will build because they are already having progress. But we just tell the game one maximum. We just build these and then we go on to the next one. Now the most important thing to do is build as many capital ships as possible. So we will try to focus on these four capital ships that we are having in the queue. And that these are getting built immediately. That's the quickest. Um, I will explain what you need in your strike fleet. But most of the time, well actually always... You need uh, four screening ships for one capital ship. And these are capital ships. You can see that uh, with this symbol here. This, uh, this diamond tells that it's a screening ship, I think. A, a capital ship. Uh, the panzer ship does not have it, actually. I wonder what the panzer ship... Oh. Well, this is a heavy ship, of course. Yeah, here you have this uh, ship using will be used as a capital ship. So you want one capital ship and then you want four screening ships. And the screening ships are light de uh, destroyers and light cruisers. But we will go over that when the time is there. Now let's check our navy at the start. We have uh, a couple of fleets, not that many. We will uh, group them up and we will put them all in the kill port over here. And I think I will pause the game now. Uh, well, do we want to trade? No, I don't, I'm not going to trade for 4 rubber, I think, at the start, no. Uh, yeah, as Germany, you have the gateway to Europe decisions. Uh, you need to increase your trade with uh, the Dutch, and then they have to take a focus. And if you have the most points in here, you get all the points, or something like that. And we have the, the Mifo bills at the start. And they are really good, because the, the Mifo bills give us uh, construction speed bonuses. But not to uh, civilian factories. Military factories will do have it. And dockyards as well. So it is actually uh, a good bonus for our dockyards. Uh, we also have general stuff here. 
Just some bonuses. And the bitter loser. <laughs> Verrat. Was ein Verrat. Okay, let's... Um, I think we did everything now. This is just because I'm building all, all the ships. So let's uh, combine our fleet here. So we can have a look at it. I think we've got speed 4. Wait for a fleet to uh, assemble in uh, the dock here. Yeah, they go here first to Wilhelmshaven and then they go here. So this is our whole fleet. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 capital ships. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, well, you can do the math yourself. And we have submarines. Submarines don't count as a uh, screening ship. They are on their own. So I'm actually going to select all submarines put these in a different uh, lead over here I will give them another symbol as well uh, submarines what is a nice yeah I'm gonna use this one also we'll go and have the skulls here so at the moment we have um, 20 screening ships 12 destroyers and 8 light cruisers and 4 heavy ships which is terrible so we need to build a lot of heavy ships, and we have to do this pretty soon. Um, so we have four, that means that we need 16 screening ships, we have 20 at the moment. So at the moment we have four more than needed, but you want a bit of a gap, because if you only have four, your screening will still be low because of your positioning of your ships at the beginning. So we will see uh, how that goes later in the game. But uh, for now, all my ships that are getting built will go to... Uh, the reserve slot here and then we will add them to the fleet uh, yeah I think we can just uh, go right now and see what happens in the world I'm, don't, I'm not in the need to uh, put um, my generals here at the start we will do that when we have to and the first thing I'm going to take is the um, silent work horse so we get more political power Yeah, so these will, will get built. I think I'm going to build a couple more, actually. Because in our focus, when we want to uh, get Austria on our side, the Anschluss, we need 500,000 manpower in the field. It doesn't matter uh, if they have their equipment or not. So you want to do this pretty quickly. You want to deploy them in the field and just get the next ones. That's what we are going to try to do. Uh, yeah. That's all getting built. We will have around 60 civilian factories, I think, before I will change to uh, military factories and dockyards. I still think this is the best way to start. Now let's, let's hope that, uh, that Poland is going to form his own faction so we can destroy him very easily. And we will wait for the, the civil war in Spain that always happens and send our tanks there to uh, do a bit of a fighting. So we get more army experience. I also think that for the uh, theorist, we will go for uh, the naval theorist here. So we get more uh, naval uh, doctrine research speed. I hope to complete everything before we go to war with uh, Great Britain. That will be the goal. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, you're, we have another uh, panzer shift made. So we have five heavy ships now. Hooray. <laughs> Which is absolutely nothing. But yeah, these will be made pretty soon actually, so... Yeah, I think we should focus on the heavy ships at the start. It doesn't really matter, we want to build all of them in the queue. So it doesn't really matter actually. Um, what I could do, because we have a lot of fuel... And sitting on a lot of fuel without doing anything with it is a waste. So I will actually train, I will shift click the training button here. And I will also let them automatic split. Make the medium repair priority. Yeah. And when they are um, damaged, they need to be repaired. But this way we get a lot of uh, naval experience. And that's we need to change our templates. So that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, there we go. The remilitaries of the Rhineland happened. Now, hopefully they will agree with it. This could already uh, cause France to... Uh, uh, to be hostile, but I think the chance is super low. Okay, we're gonna go to do the four-year plan, so we get two research bonus for the industry. Uh, <clears throat> we get a political advisor that we want, actually, so we can build civilian factories a bit quicker. 
And then we go this way to the uh, research slot. Now we have our political power, so we are going to get our first uh, political advisor, and that's going to be the silent workhorse. I will not take this one, because uh, he can die in his famous flight, that will happen later on. We'll pick you. We have 1.7. Yeah, as uh, Germany you have a lot of points, because you are playing as Adolf Hitler. I'm not going to trade my factories away for this. Now I could uh, deploy them when I want to. Let's see, yeah, we will get the mechanical computing machine, so we get research speed plus 4%. Of course we will. I think we're going to focus on this when we are going behind with Britain, not before. Italy was done with his war in Ethiopia, they always start the war with Ethiopia over here, and now they took it for themselves. Uh, I could do some army experience training. I mean, this needs to be an artillery. Um, well, this will not give us enough troops on the field, actually. We should just go and not change anything before we have all our troops that we want in the field. I also need a garrison unit. But uh, when we annex Austria, we get more templates over here that we can use. For example, they have a better mountaineer template and they also have some garrison templates. So we will we will uh, get them from them. So That's why I'm not changing anything right now. Yeah, we have 10 naval experience already. That's nice. United Kingdom concedes to trade unions. Uh, I don't know which path that is anymore. Let's take a look. I can actually see it, I think. Or not. I don't know. Oh dear. Sometimes the, the, the United Kingdom can go, fa go fascist and France can go uh, both ways, actually. Italy can only be fascist, if, if I remember correctly. So it can be an interesting uh, run, because everything is random. Target location is invalid. Oh yeah, we have to... Um, I think I'm going to deploy them right now, actually. Uh, deploy. Then we have 19 troops in that army. And the next ones will go into this one. Remember, we just need 500,000 and then we can annex, uh, we can ask Austria to join the German Reich. So we need uh, 159,000 extra. Now we can modify our government. Uh, I'm not going to do this one because in our focus tree we can go to war economy uh, ourselves automatically. I think we're just going to get the, uh, the naval theorist. That is the goal of this campaign, right? Dive um, <laughs> bomber. Was air experience. So we can go for the submarine, the, the the trade interdiction doctrine, but we will not go for that one. We will go for the battleship one. So we're gonna take you, so we get a bit more naval experience, and we can research the focuses quicker. Now normally you always take the, the, uh, the, the guy for the military, but we don't. Concentrated or dispersed industry. Let's go with this one. Oh yeah, and this is the best uh, song, right? Uh, wait, is this the Panzer song? No, this is Schwarzbrown is die Haselnuss. But where is the Panzer song? We need the Panzer song game. <laughs> ah, we, we are gonna get it soon. Because <laughs> you're playing as Germany, you want you want the Panzer lead. And yes, if you want to know, I can also speak German. I am of course from Netherlands, but I can also speak a bit of German. I can understand it very well actually. 
that's the four year plan. We will go. Well, we have to wait for the Anschluss. And then when we can, we will pick it, of course, because we get more stuff. But uh, for now, we have to keep going this way. Get the Hermann Göring Werke and the KDF Wagen. But we will go this way. Uh, are my boats built? No, no built boats are built yet. That's because they are heavy ships and that takes a bit longer. Okay, we have a first carrier. I will get to carrier two and we will start building them. Um... Let's see. Yeah, you're having a bit of a reduced speed, of course. Is it only 1%? Really? 1%? Why would I care for 1%? No. Not gonna do it. Yeah, we have some Navy experience. It's really nice. Now, this timer is from the, the Mevo builds. Um, every time we are not going to cancel it, uh, we have to spend more political power to keep them running. Six months, so half a year, it will give us more political power cost to keep this running. But I will try to keep this running as long as possible. Because also, when you annex um, Aust Austria, you will use the gold of Austria. It is in the middle. Uses Austrian gold to reduce the cost of the Mevo builds. That's what, yeah, what I'm going to try to do. You can do the same with the Czechoslovakia gold. But it's the question if they are going to be uh, accepting our demands. And I'm afraid they won't. Oh yeah, we can get our captain of industry. And I think I will actually. We build our civilian factories a little bit quicker. Yeah, let's keep building a couple more. And we are having to start building our uh, dockyards here. Okay, there's our bonus. I think I'm going to use it for something that is important. For, uh, construction is actually very important for us. Construction speed. Uh, the question is, the longer I wait... The more bonus I can... No, the, the, the earlier I do it, the more bonus I get. But... It doesn't matter, actually. Let's just uh, do this right now. Let's get those bonuses out of the way. Kickstart our economy. Very important. Okay, how's the training going? Uh, I need to change this symbol to the um, this one. Okay, they all trained up to level 3. That's nice. There's only one boat not ready. When he's ready, they will stop training. There we go. And then the oil production goes up again. Uh, let's do the same with our submarines, actually. Let's shift train them for a bit more uh, naval experience. We need to create our templates. And they are only level 1, so let's get them to level 3. Not like a great idea. Yeah, but this is the start of a Hearts of Iron 4 run. Speed 5, get your focuses, prepare. Uh, I could uh, release these people in the field as well, let's do it. How many people do I have now? I have uh, almost 400,000, okay. That's good. Yeah, we are lacking infantry equipment as well now. We have a surplus of artillery. I'm thinking about just starting to uh, a small change here. Yeah, but we will not have enough in our storage. And the longer we wait, the more back we are getting here. You know what? I think I'm going to do this. Yeah. I will put them in here. So it takes a bit longer for them to build, but uh, we will try to focus on uh, getting our research slot. It would be nice if we get our research slot that we can then do... The Anschluss. That would be the perfect timing. You can see our uh, war, our world tension is going down because, um, yeah, we have peace. There's autarky. We get more research bonus for excavation, which gives us more resources, and we gain national spirit autarky, 
gives another civilian and dockyard and military faction construction speed. And we want these six civilian factories immediately. Give it to Papa Dutchie, please. Thank you. Hey, did they not build or... Oh! When I remove the um, one infantry unit for an artillery, we don't need that much uh, infantry equipment anymore. So it was actually a good, good thing to do. Yeah, we are lacking, of course, light tanks. Ah. Oh well. We need a lot of support equipment as well, so I would just keep building it. Uh, we do have the uh, engineer, which is very important if you want some more uh, entrenchment. And better bonuses over rivers and stuff. So, that's really good. I think I'm gonna give my infantry units anti-tank and anti-air. Or we are just gonna make sure we have air superiority. And then keep a slot for recon. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep a slot for recon. I think I have to make sure that I have enough planes. It's gonna be a challenge as well, actually. The longer we wait, the better for us. Except for that the USA is coming later on. The USA starts very weak and then at some point they are gonna crush you. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna do these things actually. No, we don't need weekly stability. We have enough. Turn these off. Still 1.58. United Kingdom revisits the colonial policy. Alright. Okay, we can so soon build the carrier too. Oh, free civilian factories. I think I'm going to build a couple of dockyards actually. I think we have to. We really need our fleet to get uh, get going. We need to keep building heavy ships. At the moment we are building them, so that's good. Ah, there's the Panzer lead. Get sonar. No, no, I think we still need our industry. There's the carrier too that we built, and we are gonna try to build two or maybe four of them. Maybe I build two 1936 and two 1940s. No, they have the airplane symbol, so they are. They have they have their own their, their own category, uh, historical carriers I guess. Yeah, the name, and we are gonna give them as much hangar space as possible. We could give them anti-air. Um, it's not slowing them down, is it? A little bit, but and the production cost is only a little bit higher. So I will give it to them. We don't have a radar at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, we keep that one. Do we need a secondary battery? I think I will just build on it. Yeah, this is a, a really good uh, carrier. Uh, carrier 2. We don't need more information. There we go. You're gonna put them in the queue. And we are going to put them behind... Well, actually, I think I need to work on these right now. But it's going to happen soon, actually. Because this one will finish very soon in two weeks or something. At least build two of these. Yeah, we might need a bit of chromium, but then we will trade for some chromium. Uh, I also want to get the super heavy battleship hull. But if you want to build this thing, you need 
over over a thirty chromium, and we don't have it right now. And I don't want to st uh, I don't want to trade away five civilian factories at the start of the game. We're not gonna do anything with that at the moment. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, well, they're working on the industry. I could um, get my infantry in the field. I will actually. Oh, you have too too many, so you will put you there. And actually, I'm gonna get another army, and that army will go to I guess the French border for now. And the new units will go into the that that army over there. There we go. How many people do we have in the field? We have almost 500,000, so soon we can get our focus to uh, ask Austria to join Germany. For their templates and their resources. Where is it? Now they only have 2 oil and 8 steel and 2 al aluminium. Well. Oh, we can uh, do our government. I should have done this way earlier. Uh, let's see, what can I get? Could go for the war industrialist. Could also focus on these uh, bonuses here, actually. Uh, what do we have in the ship designer? So we have two ship designers. Uh, we can get the uh, Blom und Voss. Uh, the carriers will be better, but the deck size goes down. And the heavy attack of our capital ships goes down. That's exactly what we don't want. So we go with uh, Germania Werft. And this gives us 10% uh, more heavy attack and more armor for our capital ships. And our carriers will also have way more armor. And I think we are going to get it now. Now we are not focusing on it right now. Uh, we can also get some material designers. Or some research bonuses here. I will only do two branches of the artillery research, this one. Maybe rocket artillery later. Hmm. So, if I go with the infantry research bonus, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 until 1942. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe 10. Maybe the artillery one is better. Let's get the artillery research boost here. Okay, there's the Hermann Göring werken. There we go. And that means we can now go to the KDF wagon and then the research slot and then Anschluss. I think the timing will be perfect. Are we working on our carrier? We are, but they don't have chromium. How much is it going to 20%? How much chromium do we need? Okay. We are gonna trade for chromium then. And with who? I don't really care actually. Yeah, let's just do one factory with Turkey. There we go. Now it should be built how quickly? Um, yeah, and two around two years so that's gonna be perfect and we will have two carriers before uh, 1940 and then we will build two carrier trees I think that's gonna be the plan here some naval exercises are still working there's still no civil war in Spain we need to wait for that one I don't know when it starts uh, out of my head anymore alright that's the industry research uh, we need to wait for this one a little bit. We do this one. Uh, getting to the radar one gives you a naval search radar, which I really like to have. But we also need to start working on our fleet in being focus. We will get this one. Uh, this one is good when you have a lot of uh, carriers, like Japan. Gives you your carriers a lot of organization and, and uh, sortie efficiency, which is uh, how quickly planes go on and off the ship. So they go off the ship, bump and go back. And if you have high sortie efficiency, that goes away quicker. But I think we'll go with the fleet in being because we don't have that many carriers anyway. We just want to make our heavy ships uh, having more organization. 
Uh, there is also some so some carrier organization here as well. So you also get uh, some sortie efficiency. Yeah, here as well, actually. I think we'll go with the fleet in being. So our battleships get more organization, battle cruisers, heavy cruisers, light cruiser get more service detection. You destroy us as well. And then there is a submarine branch here. There is a destroyer escort efficiency and carrier escort efficiency here as well. And this is for your heavy ships. I, th I think I'm going to start that one. We also can go for uh, the, the sonars and the, the, the float plane catapult. This is good for uh, de detecting enemy fleets on your light cruisers. Hmm. I think I want these two first. Let's get the sonar. And this one. Now on the other hand, I also need anti-tank, so... Yeah, you never have enough research slots at the start. Okay guys, that's gonna be the end for the first episode. I hope you like the idea of uh, trying to get the bigger fleet here. And remember, I'm not a expert, I'm just semi-pro in this game. So, it's gonna be interesting. And uh, make sure you like the video. And tell me what you think in the reaction step. If you do all these things, you will uh, improve uh, the findability of this video. And you would improve how many people would watch the, uh, the video and help my channel. And uh, hopefully I will see you in part number two. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.